Should I have a pastrami sammy or a hammy sammy? What even is a pastrami? Eh. Yeah. Wanna watch a scary movie? What is it called? It's called The Rise of the Attack of the Myriad of Mutants. It's supposed to be very scary. Oh, Cheddar, you know how you get when you watch scary movies? You get all paranoid and you think everyone is out to get you? I think it is a bad idea to let all of that into your mind. Listen, it's just a movie. I'll be fine. <sighs> Suit yourself. I have a sandwich to make. Okay, don't forget the cheese. Oh, do not worry. And now we return to the rise of the attack of the myriad of mutants. Don't go in there. <laughs> that got me. Who's there? Ah! What was that? Who's there? Very funny, Majunga. Uh, who needs sleep anyway? <laughs> Sandwich time! Uh, hey, why did you tackle me? I had to stop you before you made a terrible mistake! In my movie last night, somebody got attacked by a ravenous mutant sandwich monster! Things just seemed eerily similar. Oh, scary movie got to you, huh? Maybe a little. Look, I told you it was a bad idea to let that into your mind. Now, now leave me alone, please, while I eat this regular sandwich. Okay, then. I shall leave you be. Just don't take your eyes off of that sandwich. It's a classic horror movie faux pas. <sighs> oh, classic. Ooh, bathroom break time. <laughs> what is that sound? <laughs> you tackled me again. Somebody had to. Wouldn't want you getting attacked by that mutant toilet over there. Huh, just like in the movie. What a weird movie you watched. But you worried about nothing. This is just a regular toilet. Now please leave me alone. Okay, but I'll be right out here. If you get attacked, just scream. I'm sure I will. Okay, time to fire up the grill and cook some burgies. Don't do it, no! Let me guess. Somebody got attacked by a mutant grill in your movie last night. Actually, I was just gonna say that I wanted hot dogs instead of burgers. But do you think that grill thing could actually happen? I'll show you. Not the whiskers. That's it. No buggies or hot dogs for anybody. Was it something I said? Hey, Majunga. Ask me what is wrong. What is wrong? Nothing. No, please. Tell me. Oh, okay. Well, Cheddar keeps on tackling me because he thinks something bad is going to happen because he watched a movie that he knows he should not have watched. Yikes. Yeah, it's rough. Um, what was the movie? It's called The Horror of the Legend of the Rise of the Attack of the Myriad of Mutants. But now I can't stop thinking that something bad is going to happen to me or my friends. Cheddar, you have to guard your heart and your mind. You see, your eyes and your ears are kind of like the doorway to your mind. And when you let things that produce fear and anxiety through the doorway, you're kind of asking for trouble. But, 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 I already watched the bad thing. Am I doomed to live a life of fear and anxiety forever? <laughs> Of course. Oh, I knew it. Oh, what cruel fate has befallen me. <laughs> not. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, of course not. Oh, well, uh, 
that's a relief. Yeah, you have to renew your mind. Well, oh, I guess that's pretty easy. Hey, Majunga, can you call Dr. Shapiro and tell him that I'm gonna need a brain transplant ASAP? I'm on it. Thank you, and thank you for your advice, Roman. Really helpful. Hold on, hold on, uh, Cheddar. Renewing your mind doesn't require a brain transplant. Oh, well, that's a relief because Dr. Shapiro does not come cheap. You see, we renew our mind when we read or memorize, think about, and speak God's word. So when I start to get worried or scared? Yeah, you just have to remember that God's word says he's not given you a spirit of fear, but one of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Oh, you know what? I think I could do that. Yeah, but you have to do your part too by guarding your heart and mind and not let all those negative things in. Yeah, you're probably right. Thanks, Roman. Your sage wisdom is ever appreciated. Uh, Dr. Shapiro, we'll see you now. I got, I got. I'm pretty sure that's just Jabber in a lab coat. His methods get results! Okay, well, I'm gonna go hide all the sharp things. Can you look in my ear? <laughs> <laughs>